express your creativity to the glory of God. Enjoy watching. Okay, hello everyone. So in this video, I'm going to demo how these nail art pens work. Um, I bought this in a previous haul and I mentioned how I specifically purchased it because I needed a small nozzle, a small tip to um, put glue on a small item. For example, like if I want to apply this, this sequence, I wanted to be able to just take it, take the sequence, take something with a small tip and just apply the glue and then put it down because a paintbrush sometimes, you know, it's just too big depending upon what size paintbrush you um, use. But I could take the sequence, hold it with this. And I think they have something where you could... No, no, that's to pick up the sequence, I think. But anyway, so I figured that when I had saw this, I was like, yes, look how thin the tip is. I don't know if you could see that. Yeah. Look how small it is. So I was like, that's perfect for what I had in mind. But since then, I found this at the Dollar Tree. And it has a very small nozzle. Look at that. Let me see if you can see that. It's very small. And I figured if the glue is not that good, I can always just use it for something else that doesn't need, like, really strong adhesive. And then... In the future, fill it up with some Mod Podge or PVA glue. Still, I want to demo using this. I mean, this item. These two items. And I was thinking, since I don't do my nails much anyway, because they get messed up with all the paint and everything, I can see how I can use this for a piece of art. So I'm going to actually try some fun experimenting on this piece of cardstock here and then I'm going to also try it on my nail so on both nails this nail and this nail that's just for fun so hold on let me adjust this camera in a better way because I don't like the way that it is right now and I just have to make sure that I'm not out of frame sometimes it's the way that I'm holding the item hold on I'm sorry about that shifting and carrying on ay 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 okay actually okay so hopefully I won't be out of frame so I have to just keep checking so it's nail art pen I got these from the do Dollar Tree this says blueberry scent and this says grape scent so I believe this was the grape scent and this is the oh yeah blueberry I wonder okay so it says use the design tip on the pen to draw any design on your nails Draw directly on natural nails or apply a coat of any contrasting color for base coat. Number two, use the polish brush to apply polish to your nails. For best coverage, apply a second coat once first coat is dry. Decorate your nails with decor to finish off your look. You use nail glue, use nail glue or apply directly to wet polish. Oh, okay. So let's see what happens. So I'm gonna need I'm gonna need some type of glue, right? So I'm going to use um this is just a fun experiment, so just to see. Okay. So it's Friday night, and this is my party, <laughs> my Holy Ghost party. I don't go out to clubs and stuff anymore i used to but i don't anymore it's not my scene by the grace of god so anyway so i just have some fun with art so it says design pull cap off so oops 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 oh that's oh, okay so you see that that came off maybe because of the way i was holding it so look what's in there so maybe okay so let me just go like that because look little gems oh my god now i know they have this machine not this machine this 
um, tool where you can pick up sequins and put it down. I've seen someone use that before, but I also remember someone that showed a video a long time ago about how they made one with some, um, they used the back of, um, the, that sticky glue thing, sticky glue substance that be on the back of these credit cards that they'll send you, these fake credit cards they'll send you, um, they use that to make uh, a gem. I don't know what you call it. A picker upper or something. But see, you, this is what you use to draw. So I'm surprised that. Hold on one second. Let me see something. So I, I hope you can see this. Let me put my finger up here. So maybe you're someone that do nails and you like this. Okay. Oh, all right. Oh, I get it now. Hold on one second. So it says use polish brush. Oh, wow. Okay, one second. Let's see. So let me just draw the design. I think you can see that. <laughs> this is fun. I'm going to do it on the, um, that look like a little heart when you look at it that way. <laughs> I didn't do that intentionally. Okay. So that's on the nail. Let me try it on the paper and see what happens. Sometimes that's the fun thing about, um, like different products. It may not be intended for art, but you can. DIY it, use it for, use it for that if, that if that's what you want to do. Who says you can't? Right? So look at that. Let me hold it up. But that is nice. Look, could you imagine? I think once this clears out, maybe I could put some glue inside of there. Maybe what I'll do is, um... Try to wash the, I don't know how I'll get the nail polish out of that, but I'll try. But here's this one. It's not even running. Look at that. I like the dimension on that. I should have experimental Fridays. <laughs> okay. So then it says, once you do that, it says twist. Twist off. Twist cap off. So twist the cap off, right? And then polish. But... Why would you polish over the design? I don't get that. That's not making any sense to me. Hold on one second. Let me see. Maybe I'm missing something. Because once you make the design, use a polish brush to apply polish to your nails. I don't get that. Um, You would think it was... Maybe it's one or the other. I don't know, but it didn't make sense. Look, they design or they oh, so you can either okay, got it. I got it now. So you could either design or polish, right? You wouldn't do both because then you would actually cover this back up, cover the design up. Look at that again. So I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna go ahead and so let me show you again the nozzle on this. That is very, very thin. I like that. Suppose you want to color into something that was really small. Let me see if I can find something that's tiny that you can color in. Hold on one second. Okay, just so I can model it, I remember I have this book here. And so let's see if we, I was to go to a page. Okay, this already has some bleed through. So maybe I could use this. No, I will not use that. Maybe I will. So I'm going to have to do something with that. Because um, I don't like that. Even if I go over it with a, something black in the back. Okay, so maybe this. Let me see the last page in the back. Hold on one second. 
Okay, so let me take something out of here. One second. I'm going to take a page out of here. Um, yeah, okay. So, oh, and I can always use it again for something later. All right. So, let's see. So, this, look how thin, let's look at this nozzle again. Right, look how thin they have this. They have fine liners like this, and say like if I want to color in. Um, let's look for something real tiny. Um, I'm gonna lift it up once I'm done. So okay, I'll I'll do it with these petals here. Oh, I like that. See, like I said, I really didn't get it for the color in it. I just wanted the nozzle, the tube, you know, the way it was set up. And I like it. I really do. Yep. Once this is cleared out or I just clean it out, I'm going to put some glue in it. This is perfect for what I wanted to do. So I'm going to lift that up so you can see it. And I'm going to have to put it to the side and let it dry. Right. But it's nice if you want to do nail art. It's nail polish. Look, you could really do a design with that. You know what? Um, let me see if I want to write something. Mm hmm. So, okay, I don't want to do that from there. Let me put this to the side. Let me use this. Right. So if I wanted to write, oh, oh. Look at that. And the tip is so small, you can, it got, it get, it, I'm so excited, wait a minute. The tip is so small, you could just fix it if you make an error, like a pen. But with this, what I like about it, is it has so much dimension, using it as art, Using it for art, rather. But, you know, it is nail polish, so. Alright. I don't so much like how my E came out. That's okay. Right. But, um, yeah, so let me wipe that off. I like that. I like that. Okay. So I'm going to wait. Good. I'm going to either, like I said, clear that out or. So now here is these thingy majiggies, right? So let me hold the thing up for you. <laughs> I mean, the, you know, there you go. Look at the dimension on it. So if you wanted to write something and you wanted some dimension. Look how that looks. That is nice. That's different, right? And so, okay. So, about these things here. I mean, I think this is, you know, you could just use it. Put, put some glue down, let it dry. Let me see. Where, where did I put them? Okay. So, I think, I don't want to... I would um basically wait to hold on. I think it would probably be wise to wait till it dries if you want to put something inside. That's what I was gonna do, but I think it's best that I wait for that. But um meanwhile, I'm gonna take some of this, put it. I'm just gonna Okay. Yeah, I like taking different types of products and using it for different things. I think that's fun, especially when it's affordable. And um, 
you know, you don't want to spend too much. Oopsie, but that's the only thing. You got to turn them around, right? That's the only thing, because then... Alrighty, here we go. Because now they're coming out on the... I'm sure the Mar pa this is my part, so it'll dry clear. So, let me just put some here and see if I could turn it around and then... Okay, put this to the side. So, I'm going to just move it in there. And then I think I'm going to even try it on the... Um, try the, um, the glue gun. So, I don't know if you want to see me push this all in there. I might just go ahead and pause it. I'll give it a few few seconds or so. If I could think of something to talk about, then I want you. So, oops. See, that's what I was saying about that, um, that item. I'm sh Somebody watching this may know exactly what I'm talking about, too. But so what I'm doing now is I'm, I put some Mod Podge on the, okay, there we go. Turn it over. Okay. Some Mod Podge. Pick it up, put it down. All right, and just, maybe I just need to go like that. I'm going to have to clean this off. Okay, so that's not that bad. There we go. So, it doesn't have to be, and this is a dollar. So, you get the polish, you get the, the tip, and then that little thing, it holds more. Maybe somebody want to put glitter in there. I don't know. But, um, it's like a good reusable tool after you use what's in there. So, I like that. Um, I think what I'll do next is, um, try to, um, see if I could, um, do a video with me getting this stuff out. No, you, you know what, but I like, uh, you see now, because I see how the polish is working in here, I'm not so quick to... As I think about it more and more as I'm doing this and looking at it, I don't think I want to get rid of what's in there. So I may just have to go and buy another one so I could do that experiment. Yeah, that's what I think I'll do. So. So I'll probably do that next week. I'll probably, when I stop in the Dollar Tree, if I stop in the Dollar Tree, because um, I feel like I need a break. <laughs> I just don't want to feel like I'm hoarding. I just I just don't want that feeling. Because then it's going to take away the joy of, not so much the joy, but the fun out of um, out of all of this for me. Like you know, so I noticed today. Um, I had some time on my hand. I was like, you know what? I ain't going to no Dollar Tree. I'm going straight, I'm going straight home. I already went there already. So, I have my Dollar Tree for the week. Time to go home and relax. I was, plus, I was tired because um, I woke up like 3 this morning. Sometimes the Lord wakes me up early. And, um... You know, um, I pray, you know, and then I drift back off to sleep. But, um, this morning, that wasn't the case. I think around five something, I got five something, I got sleepy. But then I was like, you know what? If I go back to sleep, I'm going to wake up and I'm going to be, <laughs> it's going to be seven thirty, eight o'clock when I should be on my way to work or at work. Uh-uh. So, I had to resist the temptation to, like, close my eyes and take a deep nap. I had to. Because I saw I would fall into a deep sleep. 
and I wouldn't get up in time. But I didn't feel so bad because I figured, you know, it's Friday. Um, you know, um, nothing was scheduled, so I can just get, I could get some sleep. And um, I was really tired. I noticed today, at the end of the day, I just felt tapped out. And um, I was like, okay, but at least I get to go home, so I didn't feel that bad. So that's what it looks like right here. So let me try to dry this and see what happens. See what happens. And this is what's on my nail. I don't know if you can see that. So if you do, if you're into nail design, this looks like really something that is really good. So let me. Oh, uh, I think I want you to see me drying it. What happens? Okay. Probably put a little bit too much um, on this right here, and so it looks kind of clumpy, but it should dry clear. That's one thing about my cars. It looks like it's melding into the paper. Let me see what's happening with this. Yeah, look, look at the um. It still have a little bit of dimension, the um, the nail polish. Okay, so one second, I'm gonna touch the nail polish and see how it feels. Okay, wait a minute. It's dry, but I wouldn't smear it at the touch. It's dry to touch. So I'm gonna use this color here, the blue, and see. If I could put a design in there. Right, um, let's see. Um, all right, I'll just put stripes. I want, I should have. All right, hold on. You do have to be careful, though, how much pressure you put. Because if you put too much pressure, let me put this here. So that's what it looks like right there. And then, um, let me see. Um, okay, I'm going to stop with that. So that's on inside. One second. And um, hold on. So this is really nice. I mean, like I said, um, hopefully next week I can just go and get one of these to just clear it out, take it out, and um, I'll probably have to just turn it down, let what's in there drip out on a piece of paper, and then um, use some nail polish remover or something inside because, you know, it is nail polish. So, And so this right here is glitter, right? So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to... I don't want to spill that. So let me get this again. I'm going to use some more of this Mod Podge. And um, I don't know why I didn't put the top back on this one. It screws right back on. This is good. This is... I like this. Especially for someone to do nails with. I think, you know, you know, if you want to do your nails at home and you don't want to, and you want to be decorative and you don't want to spend so much money to get it done at the nail salon, you can get creative with that. And maybe you have a friend or someone that likes to draw and they could draw right on your nails. <laughs> you probably could even 
make yourself like a little stencil or something to put it on there. But let me see what's going to happen with that. That's not bad. All right. Okay, I'm going to put this right here. And then I know I'm going to I'm gonna shake off tap off the excess so you know what i'm gonna tap put it on here hold on one second let me get a piece of paper or something i'm gonna get another one of these do i have something extra no i'll just use this extra one i could have tapped it back inside of the thing but i don't want to do that so this is and this is just experimenting to see what will happen all right, um, let me put this in here. Uh oh. Oh, I know something's going to stick on me now. I kind of didn't want that. All right. Am I in frame? I'm sorry. That's one thing, too. When you get all into you got to make sure, like, if you record it. You in frame. Okay, let me put this here. Right. Okay, let me put this on the top here. Oh, cool. Look at that. <laughs> right? Oh my God. Okay, I think I'm gonna leave that. And um, let me try to put the rest of this back inside that, that little. Okay, and put this back. Okay, I think I wanna do one more thing with that blue. So I'm gonna give myself a moment. Hold on, let me put this brush away. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to use this for another test. I'm going to do it tonight. I'm going to upload these videos because I'm home. And, um, it's, you know, it's okay. So now I'm going to take this tip again. And I'm just going to go... I don't know what I'm going to do with this little thing here, but I'm going to do something with it. And then I'm just going to put some dots all around. Look at that. Little dots. So easy. Put a few. Put one here. On my finger. Look how tiny that dot is. So you can make them tiny. Real tiny. <laughs> cool. So, I never seen anyone review these. I'm sure it's out there. If you put in, what is it? Dollar Tree or Sassy, Sassy and Chick. Hold on. Okay. I had to turn the music down because, um, it was right in my ear, and it was, you know, um, not so much distracting me, but um, draw beckoning. I don't know if it's beckoning my attention, but I like the music, and so, you know, that was um, Stephanie Frizzle. They say, you know. I'm singing instead of talking. I couldn't hear my own words too, what I was saying. Um, okay. So I like that. So look at that. <laughs> and I'm going to go back in with this purple. They say grape scent purple. I want to. We don't smell. Oh, maybe that's just the, the name of it.
This is so nice, these little things. I'm really impressed. Dollar Tree be having some nice things. I'm serious. Like, if you on a budget, um, even if you, even if you could afford to buy, like, expensive things, like, still, like, why not go to Dollar Tree? Like, to me, a lot of their stuff is different from the typical 99 cent store. Their stuff is good. I mean, I'm sure in any store you could find things that, you know, is like cheapy and it'll break or whatever. But Dollar Tree be having some good stuff. And I can get some nice items um, from, like, Michaels and stuff like that. I'm grateful for that. But I still like Dollar Tree. And you know what? I'm doing a Bible journal page today. And I plan to try out these pens. And so I'm probably going to mention that in the beginning of the video. Because that video, I'm not going to be talking through the entire video. So I'll need to probably mention it beforehand before I go into, um, you know, creating and then, you know, being quiet. So look at that. So it's like I made this little, um, I don't know what you would call that. I don't know. I'm going to use it for something. It's going to go on something because I'll probably just cut it out. So you know what? I'm going to dry it. I really like that. Look at that. Yep. So, look at that. So, someone can do that on their nail. Like, not this design, but... Yep, and it's hard now. I mean, I, I still let it air dry a bit, but basically, look at that. Oh, it's nice. <laughs> See? Experimenting is so much fun. You could do this on a journal page, too. I just want to fix this L a bit because some glitter got on it. Yep. So, there we go. That's it, folks. For that. Tell me what you think about this stuff if you can. But this is good. Nail art pen. Blue. Nail art pen. Blueberry scent. Grape scent. Look at that. Alrighty, so that's that for that. Finally got to it. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching. God bless you, and remember, Jesus loves you. Yes, He loves you. Bye bye now.